moving targets. Rideshare drivers tell us they're increasingly afraid to get behind the wheel because of Chicago crime. Some have stopped giving rides at all. CBS 2's Lauren Victory always investigating. Lauren, you've been digging into some serious cases in 2020 in a recent rideshare carjacking spree. That's right, Brad. Well, four drivers were hit in five days in the Roseland neighborhood. Chicago police tell me they're pumping up patrols in that area and still looking for surveillance video. Man, I just hope it's not me. I just hope it's not me. See the nodding? These rideshare drivers all agree life on the road's gotten scary. In normal times, maybe you would see hear about two or three incidents a year. But now in the last week, reports of four Uber or Lyft carjackings. Each driver ordered out of his or her car at gunpoint near 114th and Martin Luther King Drive. Are there any other changes that you guys have heard of drivers making because of these recent carjackings? Uh, no, yes. A lot of drivers are just not driving at night. But they're not necessarily safe in the broad daylight either. Take a look at these police reports CBS2 combed through. You know what this is. A teenager with a gun told a Lyft driver on South Spalding Avenue one July afternoon. On the same block a few months later, an Uber passenger began to strike victim approximately four times about the face while his buddy then hit the driver across the back of the head with the handgun. That happened around 4.45 p.m. Before dinner, CBS2 found two other rideshare carjackings in the same area of North Lawndale, but police aren't sure if they're connected. Their 2020 records through mid-December show 13 carjackings, specifically of rideshare drivers, but the stats might be incomplete. As a woman driving... That sobbing scary. Uber driver's case from early November isn't on the list. Whatever the reason for the discrepancy, forget five stars. Like this driver driving, isn't waiting you around. Know, if you're not out here, say within say five minutes, well, I'm, I'm out of here, see ya. <laughs> so we often see comments on social media asking why police can't find a suspect if the carjacker booked the ride. Well, those drivers I spoke with, they're part of a Facebook group called Gig Workers Matter. And they say they've heard many instances where those passenger profiles of the bad guys are fakes. I'm Laura Victory reporting live at CBS 2 News.